feeling down and don't know which direction to go in? Let's see if we can unpick this and get you back in control. Welcome, my name's Tracy Montgomery and I talk about all things menopause, midlife and all the... So, let's talk about how and what we can do if we are feeling down and we're not feeling so good about ourselves. Let's first think about what happens during the menopause. During the menopause, or should we say perimenopause, this is the menopause transition, perimenopause into menopause, our hormones pack up their little suitcases and they start on their way out. They start to leave us to our own devices, so to speak. So those cuddle hormones that used to support us are now shifting and they can leave us feeling anxious. They can reduce our confidence levels and they can make us start to feel as if we are out of control. So at this time, we can be more hypersensitive to what is going on around us. So that can be from friends, from colleagues, from what we are hearing, from what we are seeing, all around us so we need to be aware of this and we need to make allowances to ourselves so that we can get through this and that we can take back a little bit of control and we can master how we come through this so often we become uns uh, uh, upset even because someone or something has hurt our feelings. The way that we deal this can be because of our skill set, our internal personal skill set on how we manage our struggles and our tribulations, the things that have happened to us in the past. And we can use these to help improve the status of our life as we are where we are at the moment. So, because our hormones at this stage, at this transition stage, are somewhat in flux and we're having those sleepless nights, sleep means that we are not thinking as well as we used to. So therefore we are already hypersensitive. So if our emotions are also being challenged, the way that we deal th with things can also be challenging. We need to take this into consideration when we are transitioning through to menopause. So remember, perimenopause is when these hormones are all in flux. They're all getting ready to leave. They're all off. They're going away and we're not going to have them there to help and support us. So think about things that can be of a challenge to us our work relationships if there's somebody at work who is always a challenge to us and we are feeling hypersensitive the easiest is to avoid if we have family members we can probably be hopefully a little bit more open with them about how we are feeling and how we are being challenged so we can address the situation or avoid, there's always a good way to get away from things is to avoid, but there are also certain things around us that are out of our control. So if your bills are coming in and you're feeling overwhelmed because you can't pay them, that can make us feel anxiety, that can make us feel somewhat more stressed. So what can we do about that? Whenever something is making us feel sensitive, then the first thing we need to do is acknowledge what it is. Even though our hormones are telling us other things, even though our hormones are telling us to avoid, 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 if we can confront things, we can do something about them. So find out what that stress point is first, and then we can look at our stress ladder and we can see where it sits on the level of stress that it is going to cause us. So let's take, for example, a bill. If we've got a bill in front of us and our stress ladder is putting it right at the top because we are stressing about having to pay this bill. Let's go down the steps. Let's go down the stages. What would happen if we didn't pay the bill? What would happen if we did pay the bill? 
So look at the scenarios. It can be a if or not. It can be a when or not. So there can be two sides to everything. So just look at the different stages to see which you can unpick so that the anxiety levels start to decrease. Now, if you have a confidant that you can talk to, it's always better to blast things out with somebody else. If you haven't, there are a number of things you can do. You can do like I'm doing, talk to yourself, because it feels to me like I'm talking to myself. I know there might be people the other side, but it does feel like you're talking to yourself. So you can record yourself doing this. You can also write it down. You want to externalize what the stresses are. We know that these hormones are doing strange things, but we can also take some control about how we deal with things. And that gives us then strategies to get through this phase. So externalizing problems can diminish what they can do to us. You can also see what can happen. So think to yourself, what if I, what if I don't? So give yourself those two scenarios to start off with and decide which one is going to have the better outcome. Remember, it might not be an immediate outcome. It might be a longer term outcome. I hope that that has all helped. That is how we start taking control and we start learning a little bit of self mastery so that we can get ourselves through these difficult times. So I will put a link down below so that you can call me, we can talk. And if you'd like me to talk about other things, drop them in the comments so that I know which topics we would like to talk about. I hope this has been useful and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.